So in Studio One version 6.6, .6, we now have the ability to monitor Apple Spatial Audio natively from within Studio One. So let's dive in. But first things first, in terms of how we get to this, if you're opening up a session that you've done in a previous version of Studio One, if you have opened up your options and enabled the additional headphone output, you're not going to see this at first. So as you can see over here, enable additional headphone output is checked. If I go to the headphones, I only have the options for stereo and binaural. Binaural, of course, being the Dolby Atmos renderer binaural. But if you disable this function, take a look at what happens over here. Now, in terms of our outputs, we have the options for stereo, then we have Dolby Atmos binaural, and then we have Apple Spatial Audio. Also, a quick note on this, if you are using an Intel-based Mac, then you have basic support for Apple Spatial Audio, but you don't have the HRTF and the head tracking. And this would, of course, be based on if you're running a Mac OS that is supported for this function. But if you're running a new silicon machine, like a M1, an M2, or an M3, you'll have access to Apple Spatial Audio Standard. And in addition, you'll have access to the HRTF, which is, of course, linked to your Apple ID, and also you could enable the head tracking. Now with respect to head tracking, you're going to want to make sure that you choose your actual AirPods or AirPods Pros or AirPods Max from the actual menu of your output devices from within Studio One. And then the last thing that we need to do is in terms of our Max system output, you're just going to want to make sure that you choose your AirPods, AirPods Pros or AirPods Maxes directly from within that menu. If you do that, you have the ability to monitor through Apple Spatial Audio with your personalized HRTF. And in addition to that, you can also monitor with head tracking enabled if that's something that you want to do. So in terms of setup, that's it. It's very, very simple. But in this setup over here, this is my 7.1.4 mix room. Now by default, this is connected to a Studio 192 and a DP88. But I also have a mobile rig set up over here with my Apogee Boom. So in this case, like I said, very easy to just disable that headphone output. And then I'm going to choose now, let's toggle between all three of these. So let's start off with the stereo. Now I'm gonna switch over to the Dolby Atmos renderer or Dolby Atmos binaural, I should say. And this is of course, based on all of these functions over here. So if I made a selection to these and I wanted to change these, let's go to far just for a moment. Maybe we'll take them off, we'll go to near, and let's go back to mid. Now, I can also choose the option directly from here to go to Apple Spatial Audio. And now we're monitoring through Apple Spatial Audio. Now, a couple other things I also wanna point out is that we also have some new key commands. If I go to Studio One and Keyboard Shortcuts, and let's just type in Dolby, here we have the ability to do speaker format switching. So this is something that we don't even have to use the mouse for. If I wanted to toggle between Apple Spatial Audio, Dolby Atmos Binaural, or the stereo format, this is something that I could do on the fly. So as this is playing, maybe we'll toggle between stereo, and now we'll switch over to Apple Spatial Audio. So this is something that we can do on the fly. Now, I think this is really good because if you are working in a room that supports a 7.1.4 or 9.1.6 setup, but you need to then check the translation, you can very quickly just pop in a set of AirPods or AirPod Pros or AirPod Maxes. Or in my case, I'm monitoring the standard Apple Spatial Audio through my Olo Audio S4X 1.1s. These are a set of open backs that I like to use. So in terms of checking translation, you really wanna make sure you get this right because not everybody is going to be listening in a full room. In fact, most people are going to be listening through a device and they're gonna be listening through a set of AirPods or AirPod Pros, especially considering Apple Music is doing such a push with immersive and spatial audio. So on the whole, a really, really useful feature. Really happy to see that this has been added natively in Studio One 6.6. .6. And like I said, you don't have to add any additional software or any complex routing. We have the ability to do this directly from within Studio One itself now. That's it for this video. We'll catch you for more in the next. Cheers.